you found a small bug and are not sure if it's a bed bug or a flea, we're here to help. Or if you're getting bites and can't find the culprit, let's get into fleas versus bed bugs. So what are the differences between these two parasitic insects? If you're getting bite-like reactions, there's a good chance you've got fleas, bed bugs, mites, an allergic reaction, or some other pest. Remember, there's no way to diagnose what type of pest is biting you by looking at bite marks. When talking about the differences, let's look at some photos for comparison. A bed bug has a flatter, rounder body, and a flea has a longer, slender body that is laterally compressed. Both bugs are reddish brown. Another noticeable difference is that fleas have longer legs, allowing them to jump great distances. On the other hand, bed bugs have much shorter legs and cannot jump. Common bed bugs prefer to feed on humans, whereas fleas are more host specific to certain animals. For example, the cat flea feeds on cats, whereas the duck flea would prefer ducks. Both bugs can feed on any animals, though, including humans. And both bugs need blood to survive. Fleas are the type of parasite that live on the host, whereas bed bugs live near the host. You may be wondering if they're the same size. Well, adult fleas are about 3 millimeters long, and an adult bed bug is about 5 to 6.5 millimeters long. Their life cycle is also quite different. Fleas have a complete metamorphosis and have a larval and pupal stages. A flea goes from egg hatching into a larvae, then larvae transforms into a pupae, and then from there the adult emerges. On the other hand, bed bugs have an incomplete metamorphosis. The bed bugs hatch from an egg, then go through five nymph stages, then onto an adult. Each nymph stage looks exactly like the adult bed bug, just smaller. Both adult parasites need to feed off blood. However, the flea larval stage will also feed on the flea droppings nearby, as well as viable eggs. How about bites? Can they look the same? Well, when fleas bite humans, they're usually jumping from the ground onto your lower legs to bite. But you can get flea bites anywhere on your body if you're lying with an animal that is infested or lying on a couch that has fleas. On the other hand, with bed bugs, you can experience everything from single itchy welts to lines of bites to no bites at all, meaning no reactions to the bites. There's no way to diagnose bed bugs based on bite marks. How a bed bug bite looks on your skin depends on your allergies to its bite. Furthermore, about 30% of humans do not react to bed bug bites. Let's talk about when they're active and like to bite. According to the paper by Bassard, Browse, and Dryden that was published in January of 2000 issue of Journal of Kansas Entomological Society, fleas tend to be crepuscular, which means that they're most active in the evening hours. But bed bugs are nocturnal and more active in the late, late hours of the night. But if you work during the nighttime and sleep during the day, a bed bug can change its patterns if there's nobody there for them to bite at nighttime. How about treatment methods for fleas and bed bugs? Is the treatment the same? Flea treatment involves treating the animal and the environment. The pupae will be in cracks and crevices around the house, and you'll need a way to kill the newly transformed adult fleas. It takes a good vacuum plus a well thought out comprehensive approach. How about getting rid of bed bugs? Well, bed bugs like fleas will involve a comprehensive treatment plan. There are many low prep companies out there that specialize in bed bug treatment. We advise you learn about bed bugs and their behavior before coming up with a good plan of attack. We have many videos on this channel that feature bed bugs and their behavior for you to learn from. We'll link to our full article which goes into more detail in the description. Like our channel for more pest guides or if you want to see super smart dogs sniffing out bed bugs.